Okay. Um, so today we're going to look at a couple way, other ways that we can check if uh, a series converges. And the first one's the direct comparison test where we basically um, compare the series we're given with something we know. So if we take a look at um, this particular series, it is similar to something that we know converges. So I'm going to take a look at the terms of something simpler, which is 1 over 2 to the n. We know that this converges because this is a geometric um, sequence or series. This would be 1 over 1 or 1 plus uh, 1 half plus 1 fourth plus uh, 1 eighth so on. And we know that this converges because this is a geometric series with r less than 1. Well, let's compare that with the term of this series. So if we put in 0 here, we get 1 over 1 plus 1, which is 1 half. Notice um, 1 half is smaller than the first term of this series. And if we put in 1 here, it's 1 half plus one, or 1 plus over 2 plus 1, which is 1 third. 1 third is smaller than 1 half. This is going to give us 1 fifth, which is smaller than 1 fourth, plus 1 ninth, and so on. Okay. So we can, so we can say that the series we are given is less than, its sum is less than the series 1 over 2 to the nth. And we know that that converges. So I'm going to write, okay, we know that this is less than this. So can we say that, does the series converge? We would say yes. Since it's smaller than the summation of 0 to infinity, of 1 over 2 to the n, which we know converges. Okay, and so what we have here is this direct comparison where we are we're directly comparing um, a sequence to a simpler sequence that we know um, either converges or diverges. And by that, what I mean is there's two ways we can use this test. First of all, if the series we are given is a sub n, and we can pick something that we know by looking at the terms is bigger and converges, then we can say that that series converges. The second way is if the series we are given um, is this series right here, and we know it is bigger some, than some simpler series that diverges, we can say that the series we are looking at diverges. So you kind of have to have in your mind a little bit um, what you think your answer is first. And if you want, you can look at terms and graph them as well. So let's take a look at a couple examples. Um, so I am going to compare um, this to um, 1 over 2n squared. Or actually, let's do 5 over 2n squared. And my guess is that um, that this converges, and I'm going to try to show some of these terms. Okay, so I'm going to write out some of these. So um, let's see if I put in one. <coughs> um, one squared is one. Five over two. This is five halves. If I put in two, two squared is four. Two times four is eight. This is five over eight. Right. If I put in three, uh, let's see, three squared is nine. Two times nine is eighteen. Five over eighteen. Math is right there. If we put in 
four, four, did I do that? Four squared, sixteen, two times, all right. All right, so we have, um, we know that this converges. Um, this has got a first term of five, and it's um, R, it's multiplying by um, <coughs> 1 over 2, and these, are te these terms are getting smaller, so this does converge. Let's write some of these. Uh, let's see, if I put in 1, let's see, 2 plus 4. This is, notice 5 over 9 is smaller than 5 over 2. Okay, for 2, um, let's see, 2 times 4, 4 times 2, 3, 5 over 19. Again, smaller than that. Um, if I put in another term, okay. So I'm getting that, um, we know that this simpler series converges. <coughs> so, So since it's smaller, this series is also going to converge. Okay. Well, um, what about this next one? Um, it might be a little harder to see, but I'm going to compare this to um, the P-series or the harmonic series 1 over N. And we know that the series 1 over N, because P is equal to 1, diverges. And so what I'm going to try to show then is this is going to also diverge because it's going to be bigger than that one that we just saw, okay? And so if I wrote some of these terms out, um, that would be the natural log of one over one, um, natural log of two over two, natural log of three over three, um, natural log of four over four, and so on, okay? Um, this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the statement that that is this series is greater than or equal to the harmonic series or the P series 1 over N. I'm going to write some of those terms below so you can see what I mean. This is 1 over 1 which is a 1. Since natural log is bigger than 1, natural log of 1 is bigger than 1, this term is larger than this term. The next is 1 half. Again, the top, compare the numerators. Natural log of 2 is bigger than 1. And so, since natural log of 2 is bigger than 1, what we know is that this it, term is also larger. Um, okay. So, what I'm going to say then is since this diverges, that this series as well is going to diverge. Okay. So next up, we're going to talk a little bit about something called the limit comparison test.